Okay, so we're in the office to where it all happens and Gracie just has everything packed back there. She started showing me stuff yesterday and I was like, wait, stop. We're gonna get this on camera tomorrow. So, tell us, holy shit. All right, so first we're gonna find you a pair of briefs to wear. I've got a brand new size 32. Briefs like underpants? Yes. <laughs> no. So, so you wear briefs under the suit? Under the suit. So these are a brand new pair of briefs. These are not grid stitched. So you have the option of getting them grid stitched, which is like the, the grid stitching. In the oh, back, I see it. Which gives a lot more reinforcement, but it also takes out about half a size. So I like gained some weight recently, so I'm a bigger. So anyways, this is what you're going to wear today. Nice. Size 32 Inser Predators. And do I just go into it bare ass? No, you're gonna wear um, like a slippy compression shorts. So something yeah. like a like a Nike compression like short, Nike. just anything regular. Yeah. And could you wear pants in it? Um, no, they would have to be like a really thin, like the compression pants um, with like the slippy material. Okay. Or even some of the Lulus actually would help, would um, work as like a suit slipper. Cause you want to get it like. Yeah, you want to slide over your hips and your butt, which is usually the part where it gets stuck on. The sticky now, part. Now we have suit slippers, which will go over your legs. Whoa. But um, <laughs> really the trouble is usually once you get at the top of the suit slipper, getting it over your butt. That's why we wear those slippy things. A lot of people say that you get more pounds out of the briefs if you just wear it on bare skin, like regular underwear, mm -hmm. um, because it grips more. Like I have like always bruises. Uh, we'll have like, you'll have probably pretty bad ones after today, actually. Really? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> no! Well, good thing all my fitness model thing is, things are over. Right? <laughs> I can just see that. Like the one power lifter, like, spot the power lifter. <laughs> in the group. Cool. Awesome. Okay, so you have the briefs that you were under the suit. Now, now what's the next? Suit? Um, I'm not sure if you're ready for a suit today. <laughs> okay. But because you'll get a lot out of these briefs. You'll get really? more out of these briefs than you would a suit. Okay. But I think maybe Whoa. we'll get you maybe into a canvas suit. That looks like something you'd like put a crazy person in. Yeah, it is. Crazy. <laughs> well, <laughs> cool. There we go. So this is going to go on top of your briefs. And this is multiply. This is multiply. That's right. Okay. Because you can see how. There's like, two layers of canvas here because you can kind of separate them. You can grab each one. And uh, so now I'm like pulling them apart. Okay. Can you go up to like 18 plies? Uh, you would never be able to break parallel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, most federations, um, multiply means unlimited ply. Okay. So I've, before, like if something was too small, if my suit was too small, I'd wear two pairs of briefs under the suit. Wow. Not every federation allows it, but if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, right? <laughs> okay, so then what does a single ply suit look like? Single ply suit looks like this. Okay, so a little bit thinner, well, much thinner. Much thinner. As you can see, you can just kind of yeah. ball it up almost like a singlet. Although the single ply suits these days, actually this is a double ply one, even though it has uh, Velcro straps, because I can feel in the back there's two layers. So that wouldn't pass for a single ply. This is a single ply suit. Oh, okay, even that's more. even more, yeah. yeah. So it's just, you can feel it's just one layer. Although some of the stitching is almost considered, I mean, single ply these days, it's no joke. Like, you see how the stitching's reinforced here? Mm -hmm. and it has several layers of stitching yeah but it's still uh the suit is still legal in the usapl cool so this is a deadlift suit so usapl then you can compete usapl is the federation that i compete in but i compete in the raw division um you can compete single ply but you can't compete multiply right that's right so what are federations that you can complete multiply compete um, uspa spf ipa upa uh, GPC, WPC, there's, okay. the list goes on. There's yeah. dozens of federations. Oh, sweet. RPS. And what about this monster? This is the brand new Inzer Leviathan Ultra Pro. As you can see here, it's like a it's like a corset. It's like a really stretchy nylon material on the sides. So you can put the suit on really easily and then tighten it up afterwards. Whereas traditionally with a regular canvas suit, 
um, people struggle, you know? People have to hang from the barbell. And yeah. Have several people help them in the suit. This is really easy. Just step into it, zip it up, and tie up the laces. And as your attempts get heavier, you can jack them even more. You can tighten them as you go. Whoa, sweet. Yeah. And are you going to be using this today? I'm going to be using this piece today, yeah. Nice! Yeah. So you're going to be trying knee wraps today. These are two and a half meter, which is the limit for most federations. Mm -hmm. um, definitely the limit for USAPL. These are insert gripper wraps. There's like a gripping material on the inside. It's like a rubber gripping material. So it'll stick on your skin. Now we have a wrap roller, so we'll-, we'll A wrap roller. Yeah, so instead of rolling them up by hand and preloading them, uh -huh. which will give you a pretty, uh, pretty terrible forearm pump, we have like a roller, so. Cool. All the hard work is done for us. And you can do that. Can you have someone help you wrap everything at the meet? Yeah. So like what we do is we bring our wrap roller to the meet. Okay, cool. And we have like handlers that will wrap, you know, get the wraps ready for the person wrapping. So yeah. the person wrapping doesn't even have to. But these are probably, even though I'm sponsored by Answer, these are my all-time favorite wraps of life. Um, these are TP, sorry, France TP 5000s. So you can't get them anymore. Ernie Franz was the original maker of this wrap. Now, Overkill makes a wrap very similar to this. I still prefer the TP5000s and the Overkill ones, he'll make a batch and sell them and then maybe like next year he'll make another batch and sell them. So okay. they're pretty hard to get. These are, it's like a cast. I could get anywhere oh. between like 70 to 100 pounds out of these knee wraps alone. Damn. Yeah, the wrist wraps that you tried yesterday, uh -huh. those are TP5000s. Whoa. So the, this is what, uh, I have uh, an obligation right now to wear Inza wraps, so they'll have to do for me, but you're gonna wear these. Okay, sweet. Hey, Inza hasn't sponsored me yet, so I'm like waiting for the call. Uh, I'm happy to, you know, like maybe for the next video that we do, I'm happy to wear Inza, but you know, until, until I get that sponsorship, it's like really no incentive. <laughs> That's like a lot of information. So I wanna make this video just on the different kind of suits and kind of like the first step in learning. But I just wanna like keep them separate so that uh, you can get like information bit by bit. Um, so that's gonna be the end of this video, you guys. Um, if you don't already, make sure you follow Gracie's channel on YouTube. She's doing, putting out a lot of new content and like really getting started. She's really good at it too. So, um, and also check out her Instagram too. So, um, okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye